Hi everyone and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Friday the 23rd of November 2018. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm using the Shadowscapes deck again for today's reading and let's have a look at what's coming up today. In terms of the astrology, we have a full moon in Gemini that takes place at 5.39 in the morning. So if you haven't watched that video yet, have a look at it because a full moon really, really has a strong influence on us. So if you want to have more information, then have a look at that video. Full moon in Gemini on the 23rd to get some extra information. Oh, uh, we got our deep sea mermaid again. Okay, let's have a look at what the cards want you to know about this day. First of all, we have the sun. So a major arcana card, the three of wands and the eight of cups. So this is very simple, really. The sun, gives you great power, you feel absolutely empowered. Look at how beautiful he is on this beautiful ride that he's got. He's got the the king of all the birds and he's riding that and he's enlightened and he's drinking the sun's energy and he is the sun and he's surrounded in the sun and they're one and the same. And it means that he has ultimate freedom and he can go wherever he wants. So the sun is the 19th card of the major arcana. And it means that you stand in your own power today. You're strong. You're excited about the future. You take your power back. You decide what direction you're going to go in. And feathers may fly. Maybe you will ruffle some feathers because you say... I'm full of life, I'm full of drive, I'm full of desire, and I'm going to go do that. And if you try and stop me, then I feel bad for you because you're not going to succeed. <laughs> the next card is the Three of Wands. And the Three of Wands, we have this woman, wow, standing on a very precarious precipice there. Looks like it's going to break any second, but she's not scared. Neither is her little cat, which protects her. Um, cats in the tarot always represent magic and protection. Here we have a woman who is really going out on a limb here, for want of a better phrase, because she is looking to the future and she wants to get some perspective of what's out there. She can go back and live in her little village, but she's not satisfied with that. She wants more. Wands are representative of the element of fire, and they have to do with pursuing your life purpose, achieving your life purpose, and really asking yourself, what do I want to do with my life? Where do I want to be? And the big theme here today is no one's making the rules for you. It's all about, I'm making the rules. I'm going to scramble up here, really dangerous, and put myself at risk because the sun is out. I feel powerful and strong, and I want to see what else I can do. I didn't realize before I climbed up on here that there was a river there. So I wonder if I can get a little boat and go down the river and see what is on the other side of that valley. So this is a card about looking to the future and looking at what you want to do with your life. Feeling empowered and really being able to communicate with yourself and understanding that you can force doorways of opportunity to open for you because you have the sun behind you. And if this you have a weak little cardboard door and this king of the birds comes along with the rider. They're not going to care about the, that door. They're going to smash it down and they're going to bulldoze their way through. Because my power, my identity, you're not going to stand in my way. So it's not negative in the sense that you're bullying anyone else. But the focus is 
very, very, very much on yourself and how you can maximize your own potential. And that's what you're interested in today. Now, our deep sea mermaid, the Eight of Cups, usually the Eight of Cups is someone walking away from wonderful things in their life because they have a passion for something even greater. So they turn their back on all of these great things that they've already got because they have a desire to completely fulfill themselves. In this case, we have the mermaid taking this one cup, leaving behind all the other good ones, and looking for that final cup that she feels she needs to be happy. And it's the same process of as this or this. It's I'm powerful and I have a right to my own opinion and my own desires and I, I have a right to have those desires met. The only way that's going to happen is if I do it myself. No one's going to do it for me. But the great thing is not only am I excited about the journey and not only am I willing to take risks and not only am I strong enough to do all of this, but I also have amazing, an amazing ability to go within myself and to find the treasures within and without. And I can go on a journey to places that no other mermaids have gone before. And I can find treasures that no one else has discovered. So because you're so strong in yourself today and that you believe in yourself utterly, you really can't go wrong. So it's an important day that you listen to the ideas that are coming into your mind about what's going to make you feel joyous and free and powerful. And it's not about ego or being selfish or being a megalomaniac. It's about claiming your own happiness. And if you had a bad childhood or if you're in a relationship where people say, hey, you don't deserve to be happy. The alarms should be going off like they're going off on the street right now because you do deserve to be happy. And if anyone is in your life who disagrees with that, they need to go. And often we don't have the strength to do that because, oh, well, this person is putting me down, but at least I have the security and I have money and I have a roof over my head, so I'm just going to tolerate it. If that's the case, if you're in a situation like that, then... Gather your power today and do the research in terms of what you want to do in future and get ready. Discover all the hidden little treasures within yourself that are going to show you how you can get out of this situation and move forward and individuate and really become the king or queen that you want to be. The king and queen of your own life. So you really make yourself the center of, how, how do I say this? Instead of putting yourself last and having low self-esteem and thinking that you're powerless and that you can't affect change, all of those negative thoughts are going to be suppressed by this positive energy that's floating around today. And instead, you'll feel that Yes, one person can make a difference. Yes, one decision can change my whole life. Looking within myself and discovering an amazing talent is something that I've got and that I now know I have and that I can do amazing things with and go out into the world with and present to other people. And I found that talent by looking at myself, putting myself first, standing in my power, and really just taking the day to observe yourself and how amazing you are. 
I know that sounds like um, just unnecessary flattery, but we don't usually do that. We don't just stand around in a supermarket and stand there in the aisles and say, God, I'm handsome. God, I'm glorious. <laughs> we don't do that. And today, you don't have to do that either, but you can take five minutes or 10 minutes and just close your eyes and look within and ask yourself, have I reached my maximum potential? And if the answer is yes, great. If the answer is no, then with that no, options will come along with that no. And doorways will open and the desire to seek and search and to find this amazing ride is going to come up and it's really going to push you to progress and to have an amazing day today. So it is an amazing day. It's those who search will find. And you have all the power in the world. So really, if, if, you're, if you're someone who's shy or if you have bad health or if um, you find it very difficult to manage your energy... You get a free boost here today uh, via the universe and via this energy, which really gives you a greater insight into yourself and which then means that you have more power going forward from today. 19 and 3 is 22 and 8 is 30. 30 reduces to 3 in numerology, and 3 is the vibration of new beginnings and communication. So you're communicating with yourself, you're feeling your own power, and that leads to new beginnings, changes, ideas of expanding your life, making it bigger, and realizing that you are the master of your own destiny, and that you have the power to make decisions which are going to make you happy. Fabulous. I hope you have an amazing day. If you would like a private reading with me, please get in touch via my website. It's gregoryscott.com. Click on the readings tab to order your reading. In my personal readings, I use astrology, tarot, and numerology. The astrology charts I draw up by using your place of birth, date of birth, and time of birth, and that's a blueprint of who you are. It shows me what your life purpose is, so what direction you're supposed to go in, where you've been in past lifetimes, what your vocational talents are, what you're going to be most powerful doing, where the best place is for you to live, any kind of strengths and weaknesses that you want to look at so that you can let go and progress i can answer any of those questions for you so if you would like a personal reading then go to the website gregory scott and order it there have a fantastic day and i'll speak to you tomorrow